Is there any story uh, of that you can tell of a top celebrity that's a crazy story <laughs> that you have? <laughs> a moment that you have with a top celebrity, like a Drake or an Usher or uh, somebody that you can tell, Kevin Hart or something, you can tell him without getting in trouble. Is there, I, if I have to tell a crazy story, I, I can't drop the name. Only me yeah, don't get in, don't get in trouble. Only me this person is going to know, like, can I'm we talking guess? about that. Can we guess? No. Or you can tell a story and not say the name. When Kev came to um, um, New York City, I was like, damn, them tickets are expensive. I want to see them so bad. I'm such a huge fan, and I ain't know him that time. And then we went to when we went to um, Manchester 2018, I'm like, I'm like going to the arena with him. I'm like, yo, a few years ago, I couldn't even buy tickets to see this guy. So that that would be something that falls in that kind of category. You mean when you Same, hang out with him and actually? I'm like going. To, he's like, yo, you you in the lobby? I'm like, yeah. He's like, come on, yeah. we're ready can, to go to the arena. Can you do an impression of him? Can I'm like, do his voice. Uh, can I do an impression of him? <laughs> come on. He's always yelling. <laughs> he's like, I'm like, yo, hero, come here. What are you doing? Stay down. Stay down. Ah, ah, ah. Take it, take it. You know, like he's that's always, good. Dude. He's always like high, 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 and I see it every day. Uh, and then goes for um Drake too. Like I remember like. November 2018, it's a crazy story. I was telling people that I'm like, November 2018, DJ Spade, who's um, I'm, I'm a DJ for Drake, I know him for years in New York City, and he's like, he's like, yo, I got your tickets to the, to the show, and I'm, 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 I said, yo, how many? He had a few, so I was like, yo, my man, thank you, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, I'm bringing these girls, and we was with, I was with these girls at the Staples Center, and at the, what's the other one? Not the state. Madison Square Garden? No, no, no. In LA. LA. New York. The oh, Forum. Like the Forum. Oh, oh Forum. It's the old Staples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. But they still do concerts there, so I'm outside waiting. This is like November. Yeah. LA is not cold, but it's still. Yeah. Like, if you stand outside too long, you're like, in November, you're like, God <laughs> damn, these girls got skirts on. I don't give a fuck. I got patience than a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm the most patient motherfucker you ever meet. You know what I mean? So I'm like, dude, where you at? He's like, yo, dude, you know there's traffic, getting to the stadium. I'm trying to do my best. I see you. I'm waiting. The girls keep complaining. I'm not bitching. They're complaining, whatever. Anyways, long story short, that was in November. We got the tickets. He finally came. We went in. I'm like, yo, my car is at the bar. Go get drinks, whatever you want, because whoever's around me, I like to have a good time. I like them to have a good time. And then January, when he called me and I started working with him, when Rox called me, I said, yo, go to his house right now. Blah, 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 blah. We hit it off on the first day. The first day, this guy don't even know me. Who is this again? From Drake. Oh, Drake. This guy don't even know me. From home while I'm training him in January. In November, I was just outside waiting on a ticket. Yeah, to get in. Following a few months, March, I'm working on a Jumanji 2 set, and they switching me off one week here, one week here, one week here, which was crazy again for me. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, I'm working with two people that's like back and forth. Um, um, and like, yo, he don't come to London. So I go to London with Drake, and he's like, yo, man, get in the car, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh, shit, I'm on the same fucking, I'm going to the stadium at the O2 Arena. That's crazy. A few, day, a few months ago, I was just outside, like literally, like yo, you, you, dude. I fought I'm at the O2 Arena, you. but I would rather be in a car with Drake so than I fight the O2 Arena. I don't know. Kevin's hilarious too. Like when we go to the movie premieres and all that. But I just love these guys. Man, I'm just a huge fan. I'm just, I'm just grateful and fortunate to be working with them. You they know, seem humble too. Hard like work. Drake and those Kevin guys Hart. are super and humble. You know what I mean? But when they get on the stage and those guys all perform, Kelly Rowland, you know what I mean? Mello, Mello goes in there, scores fucking 70 points at the Madison Square Garden, and then come back and it's like, yo, cheers, man. Nice wine. You know what I mean? And I'm just, I just have a great, great, like, like experience. You know, real recognize real. These people are yeah. real. Other people look at them like crazy celebrities. So I feel like that's what will answer your question. That'd be crazy. Yeah. That's crazy to me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I get it. Just the other day, I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo, literally, like at the 44, like, Mr. Hart, Mr. Hart, can I take a picture? He's like, okay. And next thing you know, I'm like, and it's He's house. calling you. Yeah, exactly. I'm house. like, yo, yeah. this dude's like, that's crazy, I, man. every time they, those guys call me, I'm, I still get like a little bit like, oh shit, like their yeah. names are popping up on my phone. Like, these are people, well, it goes with that saying, they say on, like, you see it on social media all the time, like, like work work hard enough where, like, the people you, you admire or trying to reach, they're reaching out to you now. Yeah. And I think that's where that falls. So when you say name something crazy that's happened that's with those cool. guys, that's something crazy to me and still surreal to me that, like, I'm going to the stadium with you and you're about to perform. And just a few months ago, I was like, I couldn't get a ticket. I was like standing outside, literally. And, like, and I'm never ashamed to tell that story. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, like, 
that would We've be all one been of the crazy That's things. Cool. You know what I mean? Like crazy things like to be on a private jet with them, to just just be a part of the entourage. That's cool, and, man. Yeah. And and I'm, I would never even say I'm an entourage. I'm bringing something to the table. I'm working. Yeah, yeah. I'm working. They're paying yeah. me to be there. I'm not an entourage. I'm not these guys that are just there. Yeah, yeah. Just to be there. You know what I mean? Like like I'm actually bringing something to the table. But you're I'm talking a, about I'm adding very, value. You're talking about very, very, there, though. It's crazy. You're still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking you about know very, know I mean? very, very, very yeah, important that people yeah. that need you. Yes, that's, exactly. That's cool. Shit. Exactly. And you know I'm happy for to be. something. Dude, I'm telling you, something valuable. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not just. I'm not the weed man. Yeah. I'm not the fuck. You know, like some bullshit ass job. Like, yeah, they don't yeah, go on the private yeah, jets. I, I'm not the fucking weed man. Like, I'm not the. Yeah, those guys got on the fucking bus. Like, yeah, it's the yeah, hotel. Yeah. They you know, stay there two days. Because we're flying there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Those guys don't get those privileges. You know what I mean? So when you get the privileges, no, seriously, I'm just naming yeah. like bullshit jobs that people have. Like, oh, this the girl that, like, if any girl acts up, she's the one that fights them. Like, That's a gig. Like, this girl comes on the road with y'all to fight, girl. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, this is the girl that goes shopping for us. This is the one that the girl that goes to bring pizza for us. You know, those kind of things. Like, I'm like, those are not real jobs. You know what I mean? But those guys are not doing nothing. They're just happy to be rolling with a celebrity and to get the perks of it. Yeah. Even the bullshit perks. Like, we'll stay at the 10-star hotel. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then those people that, like, are not getting paid, motel they'll be, like, at the Motel 6. Yeah. But they still get, yeah, like, yeah. the tickets and stuff like that. And I see it all the time. You know what I mean? But, um... But I'm just happy to be there to be of value and 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 be like a a significant like like position in yeah. their lives.